so um, last time you had met up with Willet in the Duck and Cover, and oh, that reminds me, we need a figure for Willet. And you were accompanying Willet to Oldford, okay. um, where you were also planning to rendezvous with Kiana's contact, um, Oldford being the capital. However, on your way out, you got about half a mile out where you crossed the familiar bridge over the river Grob, but this time there was a large eight foot tall humanoid on it um, who wanted to charge you to cross and um, Mercer took offence to that, wasn't going to pay and basically had a bit of a shout off and then it got into combat. I'd cut his arm off. And a bit of a shout off, mm -hmm. I love that. Did. Um, what also happened was... Serves him right. Didn't have any of the proper paperwork. Charles did put an actual arrow in him. Um, and you watched in disbelief as that arrow kind of pushed its way out of the body and the creature was no longer injured. It kind of restored itself. So, that's where we left it. And... Let me see, whose go was it? It was... Kiana's you should have girl. Skyrim rules, where your enemies never heal themselves more than like once when you're fighting them. Yeah. But the trolls in Skyrim also heal themselves, Charlie. Okay. Yeah, yeah but... Uh, Hagen, where would you like to be? I mean, everyone in Skyrim constantly heals themselves. Dude, at the back! At the back. So do you want to be behind Kiana? I'll yeah, probably, I'll probably we trust her now. We trust her now. Yeah. I'd say so. Oh, well, we know that you do. Until the... we get to this boss guy, at least. Right, so Kiana's going to try and love a fireball at said creature. Um, and she's oh, dead. I don't know if you can see, but I've got this on my face. Mickey has snake bites and they are cool. Snake bites? I have new holes in my face. Oh, the piercings. Oh, you don't cool. mean the drink, do you? No, she doesn't. To me, snake bites is the drink and you are a student, so I wouldn't be surprised. Snake no, bites, bad the news. The piercings. Snake bite in black. Oh, so man. I don't know what snake bite is, but I know Holly Drink Society has a snake on the bottle. It's not snake bite. I can't remember what it's called. I'm sure I have a lot of it. No, no, I don't have a bottle in here anymore. That yeah. caused me many a problem in my youth. Oh, yes, me too. I had to play eyeballs once. Okay, so Kiana misses, and it is. Um, it is Egg's go. Um, Egg is going to move up past Mercer. And he's going to try and jab a spear into the side. I'm not sure Jay can hear us because he's not seeming very alarmed about the fact that Egg has just run into combat. He can handle himself. I believe in him. There we go. This troll is eight feet tall. Yeah, and I am like five and a half feet. So and Egg is fine. smaller Do than you. Do we care properly the troll can't reach Egg without falling over? Can we make that a rule? It can stand on you. So it can stand on you. He's got to get one to hit it. Oh. And he fails. He tries so, so hard and that's what matters. Hagen, would you like to take your turn? Do I have my goat? Your goat is at the back with a... I think the goat's awesome. at the back. Me and the goat yeah. are going to come in together. Okay. Oh. So you're going to unhitch the goat from the um, the wagon, yeah? Because I'm a reckless implementer. Okay. So me and the goat are going to come in together. Yeah. 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 The goat's going to come in from the front and like nut it in the knee. Okay. All right. Well, I'm. I'm then I am going to come in from the back, and I don't really know yet. Okay. If the goat's next to you, I'm going to say it's going to need to. It won't quite reach 
the creature on this turn, um, but it could on the next. I need to make a goat figure now. Um, <laughs> so I'm just going to put a little base for the moment for your goat, right. and, that, and that's going to be uh, on my to-do list. Create a goat figure for create goat goat. Um, but it will just be it will be this blue dice for the moment. Oh, right. oh, no. I've, and the goat. Knocked, I've knocked Willet over. Should I, Willet? Me and the goat. You and the goat. Uh, Willet's opted to just stay at the back. He's not going to get involved in combat. But the goat moves up to here. Yep. And it is currently nibbling Ezra's robes. Nice. Oi. Yeah, well. um, Hagen, what would you like to do? Hmm. I'm going to grapple it round the neck and pull it to the floor, using my goat. Um, <laughs> you are very welcome to try. Well, your, your goat your, has already moved. Yeah, your goat's moved as far as it can this turn, but how I'm far do you move? move? Um, how, how far do you move, Hagen? I can move eight. Yeah, so you could get in combat with this creature if you want. To be fair, not sure I want to. Hmm. But I am willing to use my grappling hook and grapple it round the neck and attempt to rest it to the floor. Okay, so I'll put you round here. You will get a plus two, being nice. a thief. So could you make um, a fighting check minus, it'll only be minus one. Okay. Because of oh. your plus two. I would do door two. But the sheet is in another room. <laughs> Does anybody remember what Hagen's fighting is? It's not great. I do not. Maybe a three, maybe a four. Well, we'll go with, we'll give you the benefit of the doubt and say it was a four. Uh, and then if you want to grab your sheet at some point, that'd be cool. So I'll you, grab it in between my goes. You've got to get three or less then. Okay, someone throw for me. Uh, okay. Do you guys want to do that, one of you? That's such Charlie a mum took, thing. Charlie took all the dice. physical dice. I Somebody took a single dice. And left you with the rest. Twelve. Don't know what you're okay. So, um, unfortunately oh, yeah. this time your grappling hook doesn't work. Uh, and it is... It is... The creatures go. So, the creature is going to try and swipe at you again, Mercer. Um, what was your dex, please? Ow. Yeah. Three. Three, so it needs to get four or less. And it rolls a 19, so again, it swipes midair and everybody ducks. Ducks out of the way, uh, and it is your go, Charles. Okay. Do we want to come up with some kind of super awesome strategy, or do we just want to go for it? Did you not hear the plan about the goat? There is plan yeah, goat. Yeah, that's why I said awesome strategy. My understanding of plan goat is that you're going to get the goat to kind of be worn around. Drag the streets, it along the it? ground. Yeah, and you not stab it while it's down. Okay. This oh, right, I'm okay. Going. So you're going to drag it onto the ground and the goat's going to butt it in the bits. Yeah, and everyone else can stab it while it's down. It's like Orient Express. Okay. Scare the goat, get, and then get. attach the troll to the goat. That's what and I'm then the goat will just drag the troll away. I think the troll might be a little bit heavier than the goat. Hey, mm. don't underestimate the strength of my goat. I, it's I've true. Feed the troll. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna go with the um the Charles combo of magic and coolness. Okay, so make a shooting check for your firebolt then, please. 
minus 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 three was it minus hang on yeah minus three I'm going to get my sheet okie doke sixteen uh, bad news lads. yeah okay so that firebolt misses and do you want to shoot it yeah. With your bow. 18. So that misses as well. And okay, you're down, this website sucks. I'm finding a different one. You're down to 10 arrows. Mercer, you're, you're good. You're up. Uh, okay. Uh, is there any way that we can, like, set the blade of my axe on fire? How would you propose doing that? I don't know. Just wanted to know if I could. I think you could. I think there'd be a way that you could. Can I just like dip it in my lamp oil because I've got extra lamp oil, and then light it before I try and hit it. Yes, I think you could. Awesome. I want to do that, please. Okay, so you now have a flaming axe head, but it will only last this turn unless you re-alight it. Okay. Just hope it doesn't burn down to the shaft of your axe. I will uh, scream if it does. Um, scream uh, and What is it? Minus? Uh, it's minus three at the moment. Uh, oh, but do I get a plus uh, get, one get, double-handed weapon? You'll get plus one to damage if you hit. So you oh. need to hit first. Oh yeah, that's how it works. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I need a four. No, yes, that's how numbers work. Come on. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you swing and miss. I might have missed. And as you do so, bit. The, uh, bit missed. the axe head extinguishes. And it is Ezra's go. Okay. Uh, I would like to approach it and smack it with my mace. So, fighting check minus three. I suck. <laughs> I needed a three and I got a ten. Okay. My brain was really slow. So, Kiana is going to try and fireball it. And she misses, but not by much. Um, and the firebox sails off down the road. Um, is she going to do anything else? She could potentially do something here. Um, what did you get, Ezra, actually? Because you'd have had a... I got a 10. And your fighting was? Six. Okay, because you'd have had plus one. Uh, yeah. What did you get, Mercer? I got nine. And your fighting is? My fighting is a seven, so I had to get a four. Yeah. You'd have had plus one as well, but that still wouldn't work. Okay. That wouldn't have helped, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you're... We still suck. Okay, so uh, she moves three, so she's not going to get anywhere near. She's going to move up to here, though. And that'll be the end of her go. So, uh, Hagen, it's your goat's turn. Me and the goat. Mm. Okay, the goat's going to come in. Mm -hmm. And... Give it a head button. Okay, so it's going to go. The goat, and it can't do much else to be fair. So it's gonna come around the back and try and butt this thing. Um, yeah, yeah. It's going to need to get a one to successfully butt. And it rolls 12. So, <gasps> fortunately, it, it doesn't butt, it misses. And How does a goat fail to do one of Lee. the only two things a goat can do? 
Yeah, maybe you should have gone for biting. Um, yeah. Hagen, it's your go. I'm coming in with my grappling hook. I just okay. wish to flee I against my a, notes. And I have. <laughs> oh, no, why? So you will have a fighting minus one. Hagen. I'm fighting. Uh, I find it. Oh, he's a three, so I have to get a two. That's not very good. Please be lucky. Poopy pants. I got a four. I was so close. Oh, that is close. Okay, so this thing's going to have a go at you again, Mercer. It's going to have a swing. Uh, your dex was three, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, so it needs to get four or less. And it gets a two. So that's two uh, points of damage. You've got light armor, is that right? Yes. Okay, so you need to make a toughness check minus one. Okay. Oh no, my gym for a time. A toughness check minus one. How yeah. Rude. Passed it. Got a okay. five. My toughness so, is nine. So it does whack wow, into you. You get a blow across the chest, but your armor stops it you're kind of a bit winded but you just kind of pick your axe up get back up and you kind of sort of look at it with real hatred and it is your go charles mercer is too stupid to feel hatred <laughs> <gasps> the most mercer can feel is dim confusion <laughs> how rude <laughs> Yes. Um, anyway. What are we doing, Charles? Um, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fire at it, Lars. I'm gonna fire at it with my arrow. No, arrow? my um, fireball. My fireball and then my arrow. Go for it. So, you need to get shooting check minus three. Oh no. Four! Hell. And your shooting is? Nine. Okay, so it is wounded. Um, and it is on fire. At the Ooh! Moment. Exciting. It is exciting. Um, so. Oh, I just found another flea. I'm going to put it in the toilet this time. <laughs> is Jane having a bit of a flea issue? Yeah, their cat is disgusting. Oh, okay. Our cat is beautiful. <laughs> she also, she has, also fleas. has fleas. She's just a little bit itchy. I'm okay. amazed. Okay. Spot them. So she got me the vet. Um, Charles, you still have an action. Arrow, please. Go for it. Shooting check minus nothing. More onion, please. Five. And your shooting is? Oh, it was nine. <laughs> That's four points of damage. But it's armor stops two points, I think. I wanted like five other things. Mm, you no. can just see it. You can so just... <laughs> Medium stops two. Spinach on it and assume that's all it's gonna be. Oh no, stops oh. one. So three points of damage. It needs to make a toughness check, but its toughness is gonna be reduced by three as well. Um, so it's gonna get So it's gonna get eight or less. And it rolls to twelve. Woo. Oh, Charles, tell me what happens. I, like the backbone of this party that I am, just single-handedly destroy this troll myself. Yeah, but I how does it die? Myself. We want the gory details. Where does this arrow land? I just shoot it right through the eye and it's like staggers back and it's like blinded and like oh, oh, and then it like falls backwards with a humongous crash. 
and then I harvest its fat. Okay, <laughs> so as it falls That was back, a Skyrim reference. I'm not just weird. I got it. Um, oh, as it falls geez. back, you hear a panicked bleat from behind it. Oh, no. There is a crunch. But you, <laughs> you can still hear this. Mercer, can you uh, lift the body, please, quickly? Have you oh, done? No, everyone's oh. frozen. Everyone's frozen because my Wi-Fi is really bad. Mercer, Mercer, Mercer lift the body. Mercer, lift the body. Mercer, lift the body. Because my Wi-Fi is bad, so I can't hear you. Oh, what a Mercer, time. lift the body. Mercer, lift the body. Mercer, lift the body. Mercer, lift the body. Quick, quick, quick. Lift the body, lift quick, the body. quick. Okay, okay lift, lift the body. Lift the body, quick, quick. What am I doing? What? I'm lifting it. Lift it. Lift the body. Roll. Do I have to make a roll for this, or can I just lift it with my sheer strength and adrenaline? Um, no, make a strength check, please. Yes, you are evil. I did most things about you today. I'm gonna take I them. I got nineteen. Oh, oh no! Keep trying. Everybody so try and lift it. Everybody as try you lift it. as you try and lift the you lift an arm, worse. and you see this little horned ginger head poke out from underneath the armpit, and it it kind of scrabbles its way out, shakes its tail. Um, okay, so what was the last thing you guys heard? And and. Hmm? Shakes its tail and oh, shakes its tail and scrambles out from an, from underneath the creature. It oh, um, yeah, defecates a little bit and then wanders off. Oh, yes. yes. I mean, I feel like that's what most people do after a near death experience. <laughs> yeah, yeah most people wander off. I love it. To be fair, like goats generally do that anyway, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> that every day. One giraffe looking for your next meal. Yeah, absolutely. It's now chewing the grass at the side of the road. Although that's like me after every meal, I'm looking for my next one. Hmm. So, what would you like to do? Breathe a sigh of relief. Can we like <laughs> yes, like. Wait, no. I was about to be like, search Have they got anything useful? Can we look in it? Can we look under the bridge so we can... Yeah, so we'll like search the, the area. Yeah. Uh, like more Charles something. in praise and adulation for single-handedly taking down no. a troll. Yes, yes, yeah, very good, Charles. With or without you. With or without Can we look under the bridge you. for more billy goats? Okay, so... We're not taking you... walk. Make your way underneath the bridge. Uh, there is indeed a campsite. Um, you can see that it's it's a pretty well used path. Um, it appears that this creature has been wandering under the bridge and has been staying there. That? Um, you do find the carcasses of two goats <gasps> and a sack. Containing oh. goat food. Would you like to look yeah, inside? Yeah, been... <laughs> yes. So inside the sack, you find a veritable treasure trove of oh. goat. After oh. some counting, uh, one hundred and forty ducats. Oh, nice. Oh, do some maths real quick. That troll was onto a right little money spinner. Absolutely was. That's 28 each, lads. What use do trolls even have for money? To buy. What is he buying? Troll Shiny. food. Troll food. Hey, food is good. Sort of goat cleaning services. I don't know. Troll food, blankets. Troll food is goats. <laughs> <coughs> There is a general... Troll escorts. They don't come cheap, you know. Trolls are very <laughs> specialised. I almost said girl trolls and then I decided not to, but you went there anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you found no, a picture no. of a troll girlfriend. No, 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 no. I'm only joking. <laughs> what would you like to do, guys? Um, carry on our merry way. Carry yes. on your merry way. 
Okay, yeah. so you do carry on your merry way. Um, we're past, well, we're kind of late morning now, um, and you make your way down the road. For another couple of miles, um, it's sort of getting towards midday, and in the distance, you can see um, that the road passes through a substantial wood, almost a forest, if you mm -hmm. will. Okay. And as you continue into the wood, um, the canopy of the trees changes the light. It does start to feel dark and a little bit menacing. Um, the bird song is notably louder uh, as you walk along. Um, kind of, you can hear woodpeckers in the distance, that kind of thing. Um, oh, lovely. That's okay. I'd be more worried if the bird song had gone. Yeah. yeah. But why yeah. it's not birds? No, it's kind of general, a general kind of oh. woody feel. Um, and you continue on your merry way. Um, can, I, can we take a moment to reevaluate how we're continuing? I'd like to continue cautiously. Mm -hmm. okay. And look out for we... things like swamp and pine needles. Pine needles, yeah. Um, some of the some of the trees are indeed pine, so there are needles on the floor um, around you. It's a mixed woodland, though. It's not just pine. There's deciduous trees there as well. The uh, trees themselves are not the problem. Not the problem. Biodiversity lads. Yeah. They could turn out to be the problem. Also, got to keep our eye out for those lizard people. Mhm. Mm um, so. People? The dark elves, you take notes, ladies, elves. Gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. What did you just throw? I don't even know about them. Oh, Mickey's been reading the notes. Um, I don't even know. Oh no, vain elves. They are lizard people. Um, so as you continue, you continue for maybe another mile into the wood, um, and you can start to smell smoke through the trees. Oh, I don't like it. Uh, we're probably now sort of early afternoon. Um, it's time for time for lunch. Time for lunch. Are we stopping for some rations. Always. Always. Okay. Um, so you are you all taking rations here? Uh, I'm yeah, not oh, going to. First, I would like to, as we're in the woods, look around and see if I can find any more food to make more rations, because I can do that. Absolutely. Um, so, special boy. on hunting around a bit, uh, you do find sort of um, nuts, berries, uh, mushrooms that you can eat. Um, you do have the option of setting a snare if you'd like. Oh yeah, do that. But you wouldn't get anything for some time. It wouldn't be an yeah, immediate. I'm going to forget that that's yeah, there, so I'm not yeah. going to do that. So I, I'll say that you Why find enough. Why did I write my rations? I remember writing it down. You find enough for another day's worth of rations if you want. Awesome. Or you could just eat them now. Uh, yeah, I'll eat them now. I'm sure I bought a week's worth. Where are they? So you're eating your rations, Mickey. Is everybody else having some rations? Yeah, I'll have yeah. a snack. Okay, so as a party, well, you're down to 27 money. days of rations now. Did I buy seven days worth at some point? I think you did. I've, I've got I'm here... I'm doing that, that, and I thought I wrote it down, but I can't see it. I've got here that the party's got 27 days of rations now with the ones that oh. you just eaten. Oh, okay. I definitely did because I remember that's where I lost track of the money. So we're having a bit of food. Yeah. And then I'm going to go off. Um, egg and, and yes. Egg and Kiana are looking quite hungry at this point. But uh, but Willett's brought his own. He's got his own rations. I'll give yes. Egg some rations. Okay. I'll yeah, I'll split my meal with him. My rations. 
So, 26 days of rations, and Kiana is still looking hungry. No, I've given her some. Oh, you have? Okay. I was like, no, I'm a good person. Okay, okay so <laughs> 25 days of rations, and everybody's happy. Okay. Yes. So, as you're eating your rations, you can still smell the smoke. What kind of smoke? Is it the kind of smoke that you would get charcoal burners in the woods? Is it the smoke that you'd get from cooking in the woods? Is it uh, no, it's, it, it's more a charcoal burners kind of smell. Oh, so it could be just a charcoal burner in the woods. Yeah, the woods are on fire. You know, locals mm -hmm. in the woods making charcoal. Yeah. It's so a little way know. off. You, you, you'd have to, I mean, you'd definitely be able to walk towards it. It would be off the road, off the King's Road. Um, but you can't see who's there at the moment. Do you want me to go ahead and scout everyone? Yes, please. Okay, um, how are you doing that, Hagen? Like, with my, with my, hang on. With my stealth. With your stealth, okay, please. My stealth. Make... My stealth. <laughs> so you make your way through the undergrowth, um, you're probably traveling for maybe 200 meters through the woodland. Uh, the rest of the party is still back at the road. Okay. And um, you can now see the flames and the smoke from a fire. Um, um, make a stealth check. Please. Okay, my stuff is nine. Please be lucky. It might only be a charcoal burner. I got an eight. Awesome. Okay, so um, as you approach, you can see that there is a very large yeah. figure sat on a tree stump, and there is indeed um, a fire with uh, stacks of charcoal laid next to it. The unusual thing about the figure uh, is it is it does have a very large double-headed axe lent against the tree next to it uh, and it appears to have the head of a bull. Have I just found a minotaur? Uh, you can make a knowledge check, you can see. Yeah, my knowledge. You're gonna let us know you found something. That is a no. Oh, I, I'm really, 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 really stupid. Okay, so it's a bloke with a bull's head. You, are you gonna tell us you found something? A bloke wearing a bull's head. As far as you're aware, it could be. Yeah. Why don't we come over and oh. have a look? This is not a person I want to go up and talk to if this person's wearing Who come and tell us that he's <laughs> I'm coming Mickey. to tell you. Because I'm quite, I'm, yeah, no. Anyone who's willing to do that must have not a... that I can do a knowledge check because my knowledge is a three. I'm uh, coming on back. I'm coming on back. I'm coming on back. I don't know. Guys, guys, I think I've either seen a bloke, lost bloke wearing a bull's head, or I've found a monitor. That's terrifying. Where is it? Yeah. Okay. Um, Let's anybody, walk away from it. Would anybody else like to make a knowledge check? I would like to. I would like to. Oh, I failed. <gasps> One! Oh, okay. I knows everything. I know what oh. it is. I can see numbers. So, um, Ezra. You can yes. recall from your learning that it does sound like a minotaur um, and that these bull men have an unfair reputation for violence due to their berserk rage. However, for them to, to go berserk, they need to be severely provoked or threatened. Oh. Um, otherwise, they're generally very placid. Leave Mercer at home. 
and we go and have a chat. <laughs> yeah, I will say, uh, yes, correct, it is a minor tour, um, but they're not always as aggressive as they seem. They get a bad rep. Lovely. As long as we don't okay. provoke him or, or startle, okay, so we could probably go for a chat if Let's you want Let's to. leave the goblin with Mercer, who looks really menacing. Mm -hmm. Try not to look too wispy. I want to meet a minor tour. <laughs> you can come you can once we warn him about you. Yeah. Oh, does someone want to do the Gandalf trick? What the hell is the Gandalf trick? Well, you go up and you're like, hello, I'm Charles, and this is my friend, Hagen. See, what happens is, we were in this wood with our friend Hagen and also our friend Ezra. And then Ezra comes over, and then we add them one by one. Like Gandalf did with the dwarves in The Hobbit. Oh my god, I just got Gandalf no. and Gandhi confused in my head. <laughs> very, very different. I remember the word skillet on Unisarnas. Oh, I just hate myself. Okay, I'll follow the lead because I'm small and not very threatening. Must just stay behind and look after my goat. And egg. No, can I, I want to do the Gandalf trick. Yes, but the, the Minotaur might see you and go, Wizard! You might see you I and go, well, thief, who's going to steal all my stuff. What about me? I'm a priest. No one hates a priest. I just look like a teeny, teeny hobbit. Priests That's are sexy. True. Let's send the priest. Priests send are the sexy. sexy. I'll charm him. Especially this one. <laughs> <laughs> I am the sexiest priest. The second sexiest priest. How dare you, I'm the sexiest priest. Which other priest are we talking Sorry, about? Sorry, but Andrew Scott holds that title. Andrew Scott from Fleabag. Oh, okay. It's the hot priest. From I might Fleabag. have to go and Google that person. That's his cast name, Andrew isn't Scott it? Andrew Scott is hot Moriarty priest. from Sherlock. Oh, okay. And has been in a bunch He's of Shakespeare. He's just known as the priest, technically. He is He's known as hot priest, hot actually. Priest. Okay. Most people in Fleabag don't get names. Like Fleabag herself. <laughs> My name is Fleabag. Okay, let's go. Let's go talk to the Minotaur. I'm excited. Who's talking? Who's going? God. We're sending the second sexiest priest in the world. I'm going. I just kicked my desk. So, Ezra, you're going? Yes. Okay. How, uh, how are you approaching, Ezra? Well, I will walk and make sort of... Uh, oof. Ah noises like you do when you're walking like whoop when you're trying to alert someone just ahead of you not to be scared but you're behind them okay. and then i'll go hello there young fellow around so um young fellow don't know as as you um, want to assume agenda so fellow is quite neutral I as you know. make yep. your way through you can see that the the minotaur has picked up its axe oh but on seeing you, it hasn't dropped it, but it, it does call out and it says, hello. Oh, I'm going to marry The Gandalf trick. <laughs> oh my If I get there first. What, just Do like... The Gandalf trick. <laughs> just like freaking line you up like dwarves. This is my band of merry men. I'm Robin Hood. This no, is what you do is you boy. introduce them one at a time, so instead of being ambushed, you're like, oh, I'm here with my friend Charles, and then you're like Does that not like sound chatting. like you're going to surround him? I don't know it worked for Gandalf. If someone approached me and then kept adding people, I would walk away. It's to do a, a, a casual introduction, like one at a time, so you can see they're not a threat. Rather than just walking over with five people, including Fine, like several magic says. people, lots of weapons, like, a goblin, a goat, and be like, do it one by one. Say, I'm here with my a small party of my friends. And I'll bring I'll over the small party up along the way. <laughs> Fine, I'll say, hello. Uh, we're, uh, I, I, I'm just, hello, I'm just passing through with my uh, band of adventurers, our, our little party. Didn't want to start with oh, yeah, you, so I thought I'd just give you a heads up. So as you give that heads up, um, 
my little does look a little startled and does grip the axe a little tighter and then says to you, Ezra, how many? Uh, oh my God, how many are there? Currently six, not including the goat because Elanthia is not here. So six and a goat. There are six of us and a goat. <laughs> We can have our weapons. and a goat. Seven and a goat. We can have our weapons sheathed if you need. We don't want any trouble. We're just coming through this way. Express a bit of awe and wonder you've never met a minotaur before. That, well, don't know that. That. No, because he probably hears that all the time and is like, yeah. yeah, but you can never hear that enough. Also, how do you know Ezra's never seen a minotaur? Yeah, maybe my, a minotaur was my dad. His minotaur day. knowledge. He rolled in that one. He knows so much about minotaur. My uncle was a minotaur. I can't be speciesist. My uncle was a minotaur. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he says. You should definitely lead with that. Don't. Do that. <laughs> 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 there we go. <laughs> so, what we said, Ezra? Go, go, go. No, I'm not saying go, go, go. I'm <laughs> saying, I'm saying there are seven of us and a goat. We're just uh, passing through on our way to, where are we going again? Oldford. Yeah. Oh my God, I was right first time. We're just passing through on our way to Oldford. We can sheathe our weapons if needed. You have weapons? Ooh. Well, you yeah. wouldn't go through the forest without a weapon, would you? It's quite a scary place. Have you ever seen a bear? They are quite large creatures, let me tell you. And they can climb trees, you know, and he just starts bab blabbering. Some of my best friends are bears. Yes. Oh, that's you can the lizard people, I bet. I bet he doesn't get on with lizard people. What about the lizard people, then? Do they let you live freely here? Because we've been warned about them. They let me live freely. Yes. Can I pop up behind him and be like, have you ever met one? Oh my god. <laughs> and at I'm that gonna point, duck. Yeah. he does swivel round in shock and goes, not personally, no. Oh. Who are you? A friend. <laughs> nice. It's the most chipper I've ever heard your character. <laughs> this is one of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> like your axe. It's very cool. You have an I, axe I like mine. Good weapon. See, why didn't we send Mercer in? I'm gonna just let Mercer talk. Talk about oh, no. fighting and weapons. Yeah, go on. <laughs> and he's, he go says, on, on. Come on, come on. Come on. Bring, bring your party. Come and sit by the fire. Oh, oh how lovely. <laughs> And Charles walks up and is like, hello, um, hello. how's it going? And he says, are you a Bane elf? No, I am a regular elf. Raised by humans, actually. It's a funny story. Not really. They died when I was very young, which <laughs> caused long-lasting trauma due to the, <laughs> the differences in ageing between elves and humans. <laughs> I can see how that might happen. <laughs> and then I went to live with the elves because I had nowhere else to go, but they didn't understand my grief. They had never experienced it because, you know, most elves, they're immortal. So I felt I'm shunned start by the elves. pulling Charles towards a fire so <laughs> can sit in down. society, and I shunned them in return. And, and the minotaur, so you I see, stifles a little in a yawn. <laughs> Let's let's sit now. Please, and then I'm gonna please. pop up and say hello. Oh looks a long way down. And the minister says, Ah, a hobbit, do you have any mushrooms? <laughs> Immediately. I do actually. But not the kind that you want to eat. Oh. Or maybe the kind you want to eat. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> and and the uh, the miners sort of ushers you to the fireplace and says, "Sit, sit." I oh my God, he seems really cute. I want to date him. Who said what? Are we going to end up with a minotaur? 
Hold yeah. on. I can find you yeah. some mushrooms if you want. I'm really good at finding food. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I just, I, I can find my own, but that's very kind. Cool. Hello, Mr. Minotaur. Are you interested in perhaps coming with us on our journey? What the <laughs> hell? You can't and just also, invite him. Reading with it. Straight in. I, I just think you're neat. He I says, um, you, you go, go, you're going to Oldford? Yes. Oh, good, my phone. And it, you can see he We're shakes his... To, um, we're going to betray a man who wants this tablet that we have for presumably nefarious oh, deeds. you can't just tell him what we're doing. Given that he hired my now wife, who is luckily turned to the good side. <laughs> this is Kiana, would you like to meet her? Uh, you can, you can see he, he sticks out a massive hand. <laughs> Ezra lines up to shake the hand also. <laughs> So as, as he grabs your hand, Ezra, it, you can feel that it's he's like, not intentionally squeezing your hand to bits, but it, you do feel a little bit of pain. Ezra blushes. <laughs> I just elbowed the table. <laughs> and then Charles just carries on like, yeah, do you want to know how we met? It's a funny story, no, actually. Charles, no, not really. No, Charles, I actually no, poisoned Charles, her. Charles, oh, please, Charles. Please. No, Charles. <laughs> <laughs> the minor says, if, if oh, the no. He's kind of, he's sort of doing that sort of tennis match kind of thing where he's looking at you, Charles, as you're trying to say what you're trying to say. And he's looking at Mercer as you're trying to interrupt. And he's looking a little bit confused. Uh, and then he, he just says, enough, enough. Oldford is not for me. Okay, but what about once we're finished in Oldford? We'll probably have to travel back through to get back to... Grublet? Is that what I'm Grublet, yeah. 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 Um, yes. Hell yeah. What? If I am here, you can share my fire. Awesome. Would is you that, like to join us just set up? through the woods? So I'd like to know... I'd like to know he doesn't want to come. Pain to be here. Yeah, what's your story, stranger? Yeah. <laughs> <This is> stranger. <laughs> <laughs> he says, uh, this is what I do. I, I burn so you're a traveller. I find that answer vague and I'm wow. 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 Have you been to many places? <laughs> what have you seen? Have you ever seen a dragon? <laughs> <laughs> He's just swooning over this big buff guy. God didn't do and this for me. He, he I says, the uh, he says, Ezra's gay. Once, once from the corner of the dark wood in the swamp, but it was small. Oh, don't drag him. What <gasps> dragon? What was this swamp? Please. <laughs> You've been a looking swamp for a swamp dragon. dragon. We're not going to hurt it. We want we want to pet it. You've come from Grublin. You would like to hold yes. it. You've you've uh, walked through the swamp, guys. We have to turn. We around. went shit. Straight. We have to go back. <laughs> <laughs> One of our friends, see, he has quite a small dragon, and oh, it's such a beautiful creature. Aren't they just so mesmerizing? Yeah. Oh Does the Minotaur have a shirt on, or can I stare at his pecs? You can stare at his pecs. Sweet. I figured he was more. <laughs> yeah. There's a, there's a few piercings there. He's, uh... <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> now this is turning into no. my kind of guy. Oh, my days. We're all going to end up with partners by the end of this, by the way. <laughs> so, is there any advice you can give us? The thing is, though, is that Minotaurs? Is that bestiality or what? Oh, my God. No. Oh my days, can't believe you No, it's not. I think it can. Minotaurs <laughs> can consent. <laughs> that's what I was going to oh, say. Oh, that's okay then. I absolutely am. Have you seen Venom? <laughs> yeah. You oh. watched it for the first time at our house, Jay, but you went there. Oh, how sad. And then I accused you of being a monster. Jay, you're talking to the Minotaur about how wonderful swamp dragons are. Yeah, yeah, we're just, you know... Chatting, shoot each other, sharing the warmth of the fire, staring at his pecs, <laughs> maybe kids.
Maybe Kiers? Maybe Kiers? <laughs> Maybe Kiers. And just, yeah. And as, as you stare at his pet, uh, Ezra, he, he... Oh no, I don't want to be obvious! He uncrosses his legs and then crosses them again. Ah! <laughs> I hate it here! <laughs> Do you feel like some time alone? No. Oh. We're not doing that. So, <laughs> so <laughs> how long has it been since you've had company on the road? Well, I, I'm never really on the road, uh, but n no company. Oh, a friend. That's so sad. <laughs> Apart from the bears, but they they just growl. Yeah, so I, I don't imagine they're that easy to talk to. Not great conversation. Plus, I guess they would steal all your food. They, 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 they tend to do that. Well, they're quite hungry, our bears. Bears are into their honey, and I'm into my grass and mushrooms. Nice. So you're a vegetarian? Yeah. How bo modern? Bovine. What a cow I'm trying to twirl my hair, but I don't have any. <laughs> Jay, Jay, what do yeah. cows eat? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Shut up! I don't know. But what's great is everything froze. So, uh... <laughs> well, I swore they at you. Lost, Jay. Yeah. Well, well, you know, everyone's like, ah, oh, Minotaur's man-eating monster. So I just wanted to see. Okay. Know, maybe uh, like, can we yeah, appreciate the visual of this like eight foot tall man squatting down with my... his face to no. the grass? You think it's similar to how how sheep eat? Because they go on oh, this and they like tip yeah. themselves. They bend their elbows and they just like. They literally go like yeah. this to eat. They just tip forward. But you know, I'm not going to ask him how he eats because that's like creepy and probably Weird. bordering on like. Racist, like you see the yeah. um, same as human. The <laughs> Greek, <laughs> the Greek legend writers never really thought that through, did they? No. No. <laughs> I mean, they they stuck the poor thing in a, you know, in a maze. No grass down there. No wonder it was studying people. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Very true. Hmm. So we chilling around the fire with this guy. Yeah, uh, yeah, we'll chill. Chilling around the like, fire. Uh, so you, you pass a bit of time and um, eventually this minotaur kind of, you, you see it reach behind it and it picks out a, 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 a wine skin, uncorks it, takes a little swig and then it passes it to you. Mercer. You're not the minotaur. I don't say that out loud. <laughs> Passes to you, Mercer. Yes, mate. Drink the I'll wine. Drink some, not. He's next to me. Yeah, next to you. I mean, and who's it, like the other side of me? Oh, who's who's around you? So you've got um, Ezra sat across. So. Charles is sat next to you, and then okay, Ezra, then I and then... will pass it to Charles because I don't want to, like pass it to the wrong person. Just like cut so many people out. Of <laughs> like yes, you go over there. You, you're passing on the circle. So um, just the minotaur, pass it back to a minotaur. The minotaur just he sort of nods and he says, "I like you guys. Just do me a favor. Be careful." Oh, of course. Nice. Always. What do we need to be careful of? The, there are bane elves in the wood, and and bears. They are very We've territorial. The bears are okay. They are very territorial. Mm. How can we tell if it's their territory? They do fire a warning shot. That no. happened once. I remember. That's why I have notes about them. If you receive a warning shot, don't go any further. Great. Okay. As if. How ex How So exciting. we're gonna die. Oh, no, 
by the end of this trip in the woods, me and Ezra are both going to have seduced ourselves a lizard person. <laughs> <laughs> You know I'm right. You know yeah. I'm right. Are we going to carry on sitting around the fire or are we going to move on? I, I, don't know. I mean, that would be a really good time to stop. I mean, we have we just have two minutes left. Yeah. And we That's never get point. to stop in a nice, organised place. I was going to say, with the actual conclusion, it's of halfway for a sentence. You've been, yeah, you've been drinking, you've been drinking for a couple of hours. You notice that the light is starting to go around the canopy above you. It's naturally darker anyway. Ezra um, wants to move so he's next to the minotaur. Fine. He's I will shuffle make his down. Well, well, I imagine if we're sitting around a fire, there's going to be more spaces, silly. But I'm next to the minotaur. But people have two sides. What if he's at the end of whatever we're sat on? If he's sat in a circle, why is he sat in a circle with so many tree stumps? Maybe the bears come for dinner sometimes. <laughs> I just assumed you were all sitting on the floor. Yes, yeah, so did I. Yeah, when you guys are. Not on the floor? He's sat on a tree stump. But you guys are. Not much of a host, is he? He doesn't often have any friends. friends. They're so oh. ungrateful. He hasn't got any friends. Would you I like know. I'll be like, hey, chop some tree stump for you, Hagen. I'll, I'll be like, hey, I'll go chop some. I'll chop some tree stump chairs for us, and that gives Ezra the chance to take my seat. Oh, and okay. he says, uh, chop any trees down. He then says, oh, oh uh, that reminds me, um, and he points to you, Mercer, and he says, the axe. Be careful. Oh. Some of the trees don't like it. Oh. oh, so I'm not chopping down any pine trees. I don't want to die. I'll write that down. Don't chop any trees down with faces. I will try not to. I want to say. Oh, Jay. And yes. You know the lost woods in Breath of the Wild. Yes. Those faces are the worst. I think they're awesome. I think they're terrifying. 